Hello folks, so welcome to the Astroform channel and thanks for tuning in. My name is Vido Oerlemans and in this particular episode I'm going to review my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount which I have been using for the past couple of months now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So of course I will be discussing the major pros and cons that I myself have experienced over the past couple of months um, using the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. But uh, with this kind of equipment it's always good to have a second or even a third opinion. So I reached out to some of the coolest astro friends I have on YouTube. So um, Chuck from Chuck's Astro Photography. Hey Guido, thanks for inviting me to be part of your video. Hi Chuck. Yeah, he will be participating in this um, review as well. He will give his opinion. And of course, please check out Chuck's astrophotography channel with tons of information on how to perform astrophotography. And he makes beautiful astrophotography pictures. And he even won the Astronomy Picture of the Day Award several times over. So uh, very good, Chuck. Uh, thank you for participating. The Skywatcher EQ6R Pro can carry up to 20 kilograms or 44 pounds when you live in the US. And for those of you who are following me, you probably know that I recently acquired this classical Cassegrain. It's an 8 inch f12 uh, telescope. And even these kind of big telescopes, you can easily mount them on the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. And I have been adding tracking gear and a camera as well. And this mount, it just slews to the targets uh, that I'm interested in. And it tracks those targets with a high degree of accuracy, even when uh, working with these bigger scopes. So that's a big pro. So the second thing I really love about the EQ6R Pro is that it has this direct USB connection which allows you to connect your mount to your laptop or desktop without using a hand controller. And I am using EQMod to uh, remotely control this mount from my laptop and I have a separate video that shows you how to connect EQMod to your mount to do that so I will put a link in the video description below if you are interested in remotely controlling this mount. So the third thing I really love about the EQ6R Pro is the fact that it makes almost no sound when it is slewing to a particular target in the night sky. It's because it has bell drives and let me just demonstrate what kind of sound it makes when the mount is slewing. Well, but enough about me, let's move over to Chuck from Chuck's Astro Photography. So Chuck, uh, what are your experiences with the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro? Do you like it? So what do I like best about my EQ6R Pro mount? Well, for doing deep sky, it is reliable. I once captured 12 different objects in one night and plate solving and the mount's movement never failed. It, it was amazing. And the thing is, it was so reliable I didn't even think that it would fail. But um, the one thing though I do have a complaint about is doing polar alignment because, and I've complained to other people about this before, the altitude adjustment is, in my, in my opinion, very poorly designed. You, you have to loosen this knob first and then you gotta sort of push in this knob to raise and, and lower the altitude and it, I've struggled with it so much, I think I might have even stripped it. I mean, uh, honestly, it is so poorly designed that I would actually think twice about buying this mount because um, 
I, I just dread having to go through polar alignment each night with it. Once you get past polar alignment, though, I love it. So, it is what it is. All right, see you later, Weedo. Thank you so much, Chuck, for sharing your uh, opinion about the EQ6 R Pro with us. And wow, did you actually manage to track and capture 12 different astronomical objects in a single night? I will put a link to that video in the video description below as well, so people can check that out. And as regards to your points, I think they make a lot of sense. So, the first, the positive about the accuracy in tracking. Yeah, I have experienced a similar accuracy over multiple sessions and multiple nights. And I have to say, I think like you, I have been using Sequence Generator Pro, Plate Solving, PhD2 and EQMod. And it's very wondrous, but all of that software together, it really works very well and it allows me to find objects in the night sky and to track them for multiple minutes. So yeah, I completely agree with that point you just made. So hi Chuck, I also completely agree with your criticism about polar alignment and changing the altitude of the EQ6 Pro. So I'm here at 52 degrees latitude in the Netherlands and just to confirm what Chuck is saying, you have to push this spring here and then turn the lever and about 50% of the time <laughs> nothing happens. And then also you have this small maneuvering space. So what I actually try to do is just um, get this thing out and then maybe change uh, the lever, put the lever in front and put this bolt here in the back of my Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro. But actually that didn't work as well because they are different in size. <laughs> so uh, if anybody can help us with these issues, highly appreciate it. Leave a comment in the comment section below. So now that we are complaining a little bit, let me just also mention that on arrival, my Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro suffered from a loose belt drive. Can you imagine that? And actually I spent the first night trying to fix that and that turned my first night into a first fight. I actually made a video on that first night. I will put a link in the video description below if you're interested. And uh, yeah, since that time I have been able to fix it by uh, taking some Teflon tape and by putting a ring in front of the belt drive which keeps the belt drive in place and I have no issues anymore. But then I looked around on the web and I saw that other people suffered similar issues. So some of the customers also had a loose belt drive and maybe I just want to say to Skywatcher, please Skywatcher, if you are sending equipment that is over 1000 euros or $1000 to people, please check if your equipment is actually functioning before sending it to your customers. Thank you very much. So would I buy this mount again after having used it for a couple of months? I think this would be one of the major questions you have uh, because when you are watching this video, you're probably considering the EQ6 R Pro yourself. And I just want to say two things. So first of all, I've also made a comparison video where I compare the EQ6 R Pro with four other mounts that are in a similar price range. So I will put a link to that video in the video description below. So check that out. And um, yeah, take it all taken together, I would say it is still a very affordable mount which offers you a lot of value. So um, we talked about the maximum payload capacity of 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. This really allows you to mount a lot of astrophotography gear on this mount without any issue. Uh, we have the USB 2.0 connection and you can then directly connect your mount to a laptop or a computer without any issue, without any uh, use of a hand controller, so that's nice. Uh, the belt drives are very accurate in their tracking and also the slewing of the mount is very quiet, so these are all positives. Um, but on the negative side, there is a major design flaw, I would say, um, in the altitude uh, adjustment. Uh, which you need to use uh, when you are polar aligning your mount. Uh, I hope Skywatcher will fix this problem in the future. And um, yeah, also of course my Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro, it arrived with a loose belt drive, but hopefully this was just an isolated incident. So um, yeah, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please consider to give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, hope of, I hope of course to see you again in one of my other videos. And until then, I want to wish you clear skies. Bye bye.